Hi there fellow Vault Dwellers, Kato Genesis here. And in this guide for Fallout 76, I'll be showing you where to find the pumpkin grenades and by the end of the quest, be able to craft them yourself. We'll first be looking at the northeastern side of the Savage Divide. One of the larger location markers here resembles a pumpkin patch. This icon indicates the location of Pumpkin House. Make your way to this location and you'll discover that there is quite a few jack-o'-lanterns and pumpkins here, as the name implies. There should also be an orange Mr. Handy wandering around here who goes by the name Jack-o'-lantern. If the daily quest Trick or Treat is available, Jack will give it to you requesting 10 pumpkins. There will be pumpkin patches marked around the map, but there are also patches around the house, so you need only look around a little bit. And to expedite the process, if you have the green thumb perk in Perception, you can get double yield from the pumpkin patches too. Return to Jack-O-Lantern with 10 pumpkins, and you should at least get 10 radioactive pumpkin seeds, a couple of pumpkin grenades to try out, and the plan to make pumpkin grenades yourself at a tinkerer's workbench. Now Jack will give you enough radioactive pumpkin seeds to make 10 pumpkin grenades yourself, unless you've unlocked the super duper perk in luck, which has a chance of creating a duplicate of whatever you're crafting. Since the radioactive pumpkin seeds are finite per day, and if you choose to invest further in explosives like the pumpkin grenades, I strongly recommend the super duper perk. So that is how we find the pumpkin grenades, but what do they do? Instead of doing a big chunk of ballistic damage like a frag grenade would, this instead has split up damage between radiation and ballistic, radiation being the lower of the two. When thrown, the pumpkin grenades explode similarly to a frag grenade. It does, however, leave an orange cloud for five seconds afterwards. That is the added effect of these grenades going off which says target takes additional damage and radiation for five seconds. Now, if it only said target takes additional damage for five seconds, that would make it seem like an effect that weakens the target instead. In actuality, this appears to be a damage over time effect. Pumpkin grenades, like most other grenade types, are likely best to flush enemies out of entrenched positions or inside of buildings, but they might also serve well as opening moves for combat. These might also prove to be effective against other players, if you so choose, since radiation damage is most effective against other humans. I will leave them for you to play around with, though, because throwing around pumpkin-shaped grenades yelling trick-or-treat to your enemies just seems like a good time. How have you found use in the pumpkin grenades? Leave a comment, I'd love to hear about it. If you want more guides like this, you know what to do. And if you found this one useful, entertaining, or both, do whatever it is you see fit to show that, and please consider supporting the channel on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching. This is Kato Genesis. Have a happy Reclamation Day.